Hello. <laughs> Fuck problem solvers. Actually, I'm nearsighted, so I shouldn't use these while I'm looking this close to at a computer. Or else it'll make my myopia worse. I don't normally do this, but... Uh, if you're wondering why today's video is going to be a couple days late, I watched a movie. A very, very bad movie. And I need, like, at least a day or so to recoup. Okay, uh, I guess I have to talk about this movie, which I really, really don't want to. Uh, many people have been pointing me to something called Tainted Milk. I did some research, and it's one part in a three-part compilation called Where the Dead Go to Die. And long story short, it is too bad for me to review. I cannot review it. If for any reason, if for any reason, it's for all of the goddamn nudity in it. The best thing that I can say about this movie is that it is animated worse than a PlayStation 1 cutscene. They literally used Microsoft Connect to do some of the motion capture. I say they, mostly it's one guy behind this because it's an independent project. Which, as you might imagine, means that it can get pretty fucked up, and it does get fucked up. Uh, the first part is about this demon dog who claims it's a messenger of God, telling a kid that his unborn brother is the Antichrist and he needs to kill him. Why? Because something about breast milk. Apparently, breasts are from the devil, and I'm sorry, it's just hard for me to process. Uh... Well, basically, there's only, a good, there's only good milk for one child, and every child afterwards, the milk is tainted, so it turns them evil. It's never explained why this specific child is going to be the Antichrist. If for no other reason, then breastfeeding is optional. And I don't even know why the dog told this kid, because it's the dog who comes into the room, and the dog who reaches up the mother's birth canal and drags out the fetus, killing it. And it's the dog who rips off the father's dick. This is the first part of three separate short films, and I have watched all of them. And I believe the last of the three, the mass of the monster wears, is the worst. If for no other reason, then that one contains all forms of child abuse, up to and including sexual. I don't even know if this was legal to make or legal to own. It's not, like, explicitly about child pornography. Well, that's... A father, in that short, caught, makes his daughter hang from the ceiling by her face and forces her to star in child porn. It's... It is the worst piece of animation in existence. It is too bad to be considered an animated atrocity. Do not look up for this movie, okay? If you're insanely curious, insanely curious, you could probably find a review of someone else doing it. But there are scenes that would not be out of place in a hentai. This movie thoroughly disgusts me on every single level. I mean, what, it's just something made to shock, right? No, by the director's own commentary, this movie was made to be a comedy. I, I, I really don't have many words to describe how I feel about this piece of shit. I, I don't know exactly what I'm calling the piece of shit, but it, it, why did I watch this? Well, it's my job to watch this kind of stuff, but no, there, there's a limit. 
this has got to be... I don't think you could make an animated thing worse if you tried. God help you, don't try. Some of the voice acting sounds like it was made by a computer program. The lip syncing is the worst that I've ever seen, even after Puppy in My Pocket. There's more fucked up shit than Ren Seek's help. It's 45 minutes, so it's... It's got the length covered. Let's see. The second short is about a guy, a psycho who wants to kill people to steal their memories for no express reason, except maybe he wants to go into him like a psycho remade to the moon. It's just... It's... I, I don't... I don't. Yeah, this is this is the kind of stuff that I watch. Um, I'm not showing you clips because you don't want to see this. I I don't I don't care who you are. You you don't want to see this movie. You don't even want to hear me thrashing it. It is below those standards. It is hideous in all its forms. Oh, and there's a lot of symbolism, a lot of religious symbolism, like it's trying to say something deep. There's a crucified Jesus who has the head of the sun, like the literal sun in the sky. Like, I, I, I don't get this movie. It's comedy, so a demon dog tells a boy that if he wants to revive his murdered parents, he's going to need to have sex with the dog while the sex has while the dog has sex with the dead mother. And that's that's just the first of the three shorts. Like you don't want to watch this. You don't want to look up clips or anything. If you do, uh Watch it with, if you do, don't, if you don't heed my advice, I'd highly recommend watching this with somebody with a strong stomach. Don't watch it after you've eaten. Don't watch it if you plan to eat. Don't watch it if you want to retain any hope for the human race. I don't think it's like the most heinous thing ever made. Like it's probably not worse than a Serbian film or the human centipede, but it's it's trying to get into that category. It it really is trying to get into that category. Uh, and I just thought that I'd personally tell you about this guy, that this guy, this movie. Like because I under, but I'm I'm probably going to get a lot of requests. I already have been getting a lot of requests for at least the first short, Tainted Milk. I don't know if it's extremely shocking or trying and failing to be shocking. I just know that this came from someone's demented imagination. And it was meant to be a comedy, so... There is... I, I, I just... Uh, there's just a lot of disgust with this one. So much so that I don't even... I, I don't even want to bother trying to review it. Just, at, at, at the very least, if you're morbidly curious, watch someone else's review, okay? There are a few of those because no one else wants to deal with this stupid thing. And that's what it is. It, it's stupid or it's vile. I, I don't care. People's, people claim I be hyperbolic all the time when it comes to this stuff, but a lot of this is horror without context. As a raw horror, this movie fails because it's just disturbing shit after disturbing shit. Like, take Silent Hill. It starts somewhere sane. I mean, the first one is about a father and daughter going on vacation before it goes to shit. This starts with a demon dog talking to a boy. There's nowhere sane for it to start. The second one... The third one is about parents blaming a child for killing his brother as a fetus and I, I I don't even want to talk about it. 
I'm sorry that this has been a little bit fragmented, but I I watched this movie and I needed a, like a full night to process this movie, and it is one of the worst things that I've ever seen. Yes, worse than Ren Seek's Help. It is the worst piece of animation currently in existence. I stand strong in my statement of that. I don't think there's any redeeming qualities to this. I don't think it provides any positive influence to the human race. Do not watch this movie. Do not give it any sort of support. I know that you're probably going to do this because I have told you about it, but it's either this or I give it a full review, which I'm not going to do. Like, it's just bad.